Hello, this is Mike Kroger, Finale Inventory. In this short video, we're going to show you how to add your own document, report, or label to an action menu item in the user interface in Finale. Now, some people don't know you can even do this, but let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's flip over to Finale. So in Finale, when we talk about the user interface, it's, we're talking about what you see here. So let's, let's go to View Sales for a second and then let's click on let's say a sales order. Now many times people want to print out a document of the sales order so they know they can go here to the action menu so this is what I'm referring to is the action menu and you notice how there are selections down here at the bottom that say email a sales order or print a sales order. So they want to do a print sales order. So when they select this, of course, then Finale prints off this document like this. So it comes out and it says, here's a sales order. So many times they say, well, I want to put a barcode. I see in your videos, uh, I've got a barcode scanner and I need a barcode of the order number up here next to the sales order. So let me show you how to do that. It's already in your account. Now let me show you how to set it up. So we're going to jump back over here and we're going to show you how to do it. So what you need to do is go right here to action menu on the sales order. You're going to say customize this screen. Now when it brings up this screen, this is in your application settings actually, and we're in the screens tab and then we're on the sales order screen. So if you see right here, we're on the, the sales order tab screen. And then right here, do you recognize this? So this is print sales order and then the format output says email and then the menu item. So this is what we're talking about, the menu item name on the action menu. It says email the sales order. Then there's some settings over here to actually set up the email. And then for us to print, we use the report that's called print sales order. And we're going to say we want it in a PDF format and we want the menu action name to say print sales order. So how can we add one to make it print a sales order barcode? Well, what we do is we add a whole nother report that's got a barcode on it for the sales order. Well, where would we find that? So let's, let's talk about that. So we're going to jump over to the report screen and I happen to know that, Hey, sales orders are documents. So I'm going to go to the document page. Well, on your, on your sales documents. So we're in the, the document tab of the reports you're going to have one that you'll see it and it says print sales order with barcodes. All right. Now I have other ones because I have other custom reports just like you can too in the future. So you can see that there is already a document here that has a barcode on it for the sales order. So we want to link to this one. So let's jump back. So how do we do that? So once again, we're going to go back here to the sales order, go to the action menu, customize the screen, and then all we need to do here is click and add our own report. So I'm going to click right here and I need to, I'm just going to type in barcode, B-A-R-C-O-D-E. And you'll see all the labels and reports that have the word barcode in them. So I'm going to scroll down here. I'm going to find the one that says print sales order with barcode. So this one right here, print sales order with barcode. So I click it. So that is the document that I want to use and I want it to go out in PDF. And then I'm going to give it a title. So I'm going to say print sales order with barcode, just like that. So this is the text that's going to appear on the action menu. So I hit save now. Now let's go back to the sales screen. So what I'm going to do is just go back to sales and click on a sales order and look what happens on the action menu. Do you see it? Now it shows up right there print sales order with barcode. That's what we typed. And of course we linked it to that specific report. So if I execute that selection, it actually will pull up and it will print the barcode because it's a different document template. So that's how you add your own link to the action menus. Now that the action menu links is available in many areas of the program. Okay. So let me just show you, you've got the action menu here that you can add it to. You can also add it to the action menu on the shipment tab. You can, uh, of course, add it to purchase orders. So when you're inside of a purchase order, you've got an action menu here as well, and you can add your own customs here. And that's how you do it. Okay. There's the tip. Enjoy.